Right, so uh, this presentation, what we're going to look at is using other people's code, also known as using libraries. Like even, you know, there can be some confusion. Hey, what's the difference between a library and a package? And those terms are just sort of interchangeable. Uh, Go refers to them pretty much as packages. Sometimes you'll see them referred to as libraries. That's my perspective on it. You guys have any other perspective on it? All right, so um, naming and organizing. We really kind of uh, looked at this already, but just sort of want to reiterate that the package name must uh, match the containing folder name, right? So package string util is matching the string util package. That's the folder holding. And all the files in there are going to have package string util at the top. There is one exception to that. Unless it's package main, package main doesn't match the folder which is containing it. Right? And reminder, there can only be one main function per executable program. You can have other functions in the main package. But Go package main, go for it. Go does not enforce this, but it can get confusing if it doesn't. For example, the UUID thing that, you're, yeah. that we use, yeah. it's uh, in, the Go, in the Go UUID folder, but the package is just plain UUID. And so you, when you're using it, you just use plain UUID dot stuff. But, the, but it looks like, based on the folder structure, it should be Go UUID dot stuff. So yeah, it, and it, it doesn't enforce it, but it's confusing. So highly recommend you do stick to the whole thing. I have a question. Yeah, let's hear it. Um, when you use go build and it makes the binary executable, um, does it name that executable after the folder or after the, the go file that I think by default the folder. Folder, yeah. Uh, why is not WebStorm coming up? Because it's not Adam. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's still trying to figure it out. I was going to show you, but... Uh, so uh, here we have a, um, a file, right? My file, shorter box, concise, error on the side of brevity, and you know the file name is different than the package name, so that file's in string until. And I can have as many files as I want inside a package, but they... Uh, all need to have package string util. Even though I'm showing package main up there, that's the hello file that's open, so that's not the best screenshot. Um, by the way, uh, here's idiomatic, but I'm, I'm not using an idiomatic style because my folder structure is O2 underscore library, right? And we learned that they should be single words, no underscores, no dashes. They should be short, concise, evocative, error on the side of brevity. It uh, shouldn't start with numbers. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just doing that to organize the code so it's all sequentially laid out. But don't take that as the way you should be writing your, your program. Um, so when we capitalize something, whether it's a function or a variable, that could influence whether or not it's successful outside the package. Generally, think about this uh, in relation to functions. but and I'm not totally clear about it with relation to variables, but my recollection is the amount that I played with it, that it applies to variables too. Is that yeah. Yeah, your experience. And yeah, types. so. And types. And types. Cool. Yeah, so capitalization. You just got to remember that. So uh, this would be accessible outside the package string util, that reverse function, right? But reverse two would not be available outside the string util package. And uh, this code will run. You know, I'm calling reverse from the hello file, which is in a different area. And notice my import is github.com, goes to 11, go lang training, o2 library, string util, right? I'm importing that package, that's my import. So that runs, and uh, this does not run, right? I'm calling reverse2 uh, from in, in hello go, right? I'm calling reverse2, but that's lowercase, so that's not accessible from the string util package. And you can see the how I'm using the package there in on line 9, right? Or here on line also 9. But I'm saying, hey, in the string util pack, string util dot you know, reverse, right? That's saying in the string util package, uh, give me the function reverse. So what's this code do? What is this demonstrating? It's demonstrating the same thing I've just been telling you, but maybe take a, a moment just to kind of look at it. And uh, the top one is hello.go. The bob two files are all part of the string util package. Hello.go is using string util on line 9, calls reverse, and then reverse is in the file reverse, in the middle file there, and on line 6, you can see what reverse does. It calls reverse 2. And reverse 2, you know, since this is a function that's in the string util package, I don't have to say from some other file, it's in the same package. But reverse 2 is the bottom file there, and reverse 2 uh, is in a badly named file called capitalize. And uh, it actually, you know, that's not 
right? It's just reversing, it's not capitalizing, so don't get confused there. But there's a reverse too. So it's kind of interesting, right? Like I could use a public function to call a private function, and then that will call that code out. Uh, so anyhow, that all runs. Public, not public. Uh, there's another command, go format. So that's going to format your code and make it, you know, adhere to idiomatic style. And uh, my code is not formatted idiomatic. It's all slammed to the left on line 9 and 5 and 4 and 5. But when I run go format, it formats my code. You can't have your braces like this, like on line 9. You're, you know, because go is automatically going to insert semicolons and it looks for certain... Um, lexical elements <laughs> to do that with or certain things, right? And one of the ones is a semi, the curly braces. So right there, it's going to actually put a semicolon after line 8, and that won't be right. And, uh, you know, there we go. So if I put it like this, that is correct, and it runs again. So your, your curly braces have to be in the right spot. So package name must match the folder name except for package main. Package main must have func main. And package main can contain other functions also. Packages can be organized into any number of files. Capitalization, camel case, if you need to add extra words for a variable or something, is the convention. And go format, format your code. Some review questions for you. Questions? Cool.